Good morning. <laughs> I'm just uh, recording this video uh, early in the morning because I wanted to take advantage of some free minutes I have this morning just to show you what I've been doing. And um, I'm going to have a few busy weeks ahead. Um, going uh, traveling to go a few creative expos and um, some of my friends are coming to see me I have to clean my house as well so it's gonna be a bit crazy so I just say let's do it now um, while drinking my espresso <laughs> I'm sorry about the voice I'm still a little bit uh, <laughs> sleepy so anyway let's get uh, on the business uh, first one the soutage technique it's a necklace with a obvious mistakes uh, in particular this side compared to the other one which is a little bit lower so overall yeah I don't really notice but yeah I know it's there <laughs> so um, in any case soutage technique uh, is kind of allowing this kind of <laughs> free form freestyle thing so Unfortunately, I'm I'm still not mastering this hundred uh, percent. Whoever tried it knows is um, quite difficult um, technique. Um, yeah, not really about the thread showing or not. I, I I I've gone ahead. I've gone beyond that. But it's more about mirror mirroring uh, sim symmetry in the creation. So I still need to practice. It's one of the actual, the actual techniques, techniques that is taking me a long time to to feel confident with it. And uh, but you know I'm trying. So so I've used um, this main labradorite. Um, I will try and find the name in English. I'm not sure it's the same, but it's an amazing stone, uh, which I showed you in other videos as well. I think on a ring um, too. Uh, so I've started from this actually, um, embedding it with a uh, soutache and um, I've used these, um, these uh, crystals that a little bit are matching the stone but also they have some lilac in it. So I've connected with colour also this drop. I don't know if you can see. It's not regular, it's kind of broken. That's uh, it's like a quartz. And it has all these um, like crystals, broken crystals in it. Obviously, it's not broken, but that's the way it's supposed to be. So it's, um, I really like it. Maybe you can see it if I okay, so from this perspective. So I went, um, I went on with this purple one and because it wasn't full but it was half of it it wasn't even uh, in um, in size uh, which soutage uh, would have been a nightmare so I've used a different technique to embed this one Peyote um, wouldn't have liked the final result so again because of the uneven surface so I've used this one with uh, 11 or 15 or uh, seed beads. So, and that's a below. And then I use these two the drops in Labradorite again as Swarovski crystals. Um, I think the shade is called Heliotrop. And then I've used uh, Swarovski pearls and Swarovski crystals, uh, Bicons, in, even in other shades like green. Um, and you can, you can see here different kind of sea beads between lilac and purple and blue. In this case, 15 of size. And then for the blue ones, which are these ones around it, and as you can see there are, um, I think they are tall, um, and the color was Mediterranean blue, something like that. Then this one, ah, I can't remember the colour, but anyway, it's like a kind of electric purple in the um, 11 out. And then, Giggly 16 uh, vintage, uh, and then this is a rose 
um, 40 again bicons <coughs> mainly in silver silvery blue bluish so that um, kind of reminds you of the essential stone and the, the kind of shade second half of the lap necklace which is the one on top I've used uh, instead of silver I used to I've used this lilac uh, so you can see more elements in lilac on the top part so it's a kind of contrast between silvery and lilac for the top part I've done that it's basically wavy wavy pattern with crystals is a basic soupage uh, technique to create uh, the top part of the necklace uh, and then obviously uh, a clip um, it's actually not the final clip I'm not sure about it I just I wanted to wear it so I used it I think I'm gonna keep the heart thing but then I will take off these uh, rings this this aluminium ring uh, I would like to use two little cups to uh, to fix it to finalize finalize it so uh, basically I wanted to put a little a little uh, nail in, in just through each side and then close it with the ring and then and then uh, and then close it so this is not the final I just wanted to make it a little bit more more you know nicer basically just uh, as important as the necklace so that's the end uh, let me see if I can show you in full so now I will show you something else a little bit less uh, important <laughs> well if we can say so <laughs> so this is a this is a pendant that I can show you um, which is a skin from a creative uh, artist called um, Claudette, I think. And she has um, a shop online on Etsy and also on a personal website. So this, she does a lot of uh, creative uh, jewelry skins. They are all beautiful. And this one uh, ca caught my attention because um, one of my friends actually um, showed it to me. <laughs> And um, I really liked it, so I thought I would replicate it. And um, the base is just an onyx stone in a donut shape, as you can see. Basically, that's the original base, uh, 45 millimeters. Then little Swarovski on the bottom part, pearls, and seed beads. Even on the front part, I've used bronze and goldy um, I, I wanted to keep this kind of a uh, classic uh, just because the donut was black, so I thought, and then this fake python <laughs> um, lace uh, necklace, so yeah, it's quite obviously. <laughs> Not, not as big as the previous necklace, but still quite uh, important. Then I wanted to um, I wanted to replicate with um, another one, but I didn't have as big donuts, so I, don't, I only had a twenty-five one. Um, so I'm showing you. Let me just just give me a sec. Similar to these, but smaller. Similar, but not the same. <laughs> Because of the central donut, um, so yeah, this is just inspired. Uh, it's called Mandala. If you're interested in this scheme, you can uh, Google it, Google it. So I've done this one in turquoise and silver because the donut base was turquoise. So I've just kept the same uh, with Swarovski and beads. Um, I haven't done all that. You see, it's got Swarovski even in the middle, but obviously I didn't have enough room for that. So it stayed like that, and then I've done this 
um, which is um, a different obsidiana uh, snowflake <laughs> um, the color which is white and black that's as a base so I just I could only use Swarovski in the middle ring I couldn't even put it I tried to put Swarovski on the bottom of it but it didn't look good because it's so small compared to the original but uh, I just wanted to inspire it to it so happy with it <laughs> that I could use my donuts I never know what to do with them so there you go good for summer I think especially in a warm place <laughs> that's it um, so that's uh, all for the creations for this video um, and I hope you you know of course again questions anything unclear which I am sure <laughs> will happen or uh, if you want me to leave any link or anything that I missed uh, just feel free, you know, I'm happy, always happy to read your comments and uh, it makes me happy, especially because I'm just creating this channel now, so um, I'm not very 100% confident that uh, my, you know, tutorial are clear or, you know, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, my native uh, language is Italian, so my main channel is um, 75, Margaret 75. Um, and it's the main Italian YouTube channel. I had so many requests from you guys asking, oh, please, video in English, in English. So I'm trying. <laughs> Otherwise, if I'm doing something wrong, just uh, let me know. Or if I'm doing something right, right, even better. Um, I'm happy to read what you say, making new friends. Or if you want to share your ideas, your suggestions, uh, feel free. I'm more than happy. <laughs> um, you know, actually, that's the main uh, aim of my target, of my of my channel. So, um, with this, I say goodbye for today. I wish.